Hey guys, welcome in Singleton Design Pattern. Uh, Singleton Design Patterns comes under the Creational Design Pattern category in Java. Yeah. So let's try to understand what is basically Singleton Design Pattern. Uh, singleton Design Pattern basically restrict uh, the instantiation of the class and ensures that only one instance of the class exists in the JVM, right? And uh, make sure that Singleton class must provide a global access point to uh, get the singleton instance outside of the class right so that's the definition right so when uh, when you look into the uh, definition right uh, it seems to be very simple design pattern but when it comes to implementation it comes with a lot of implementation concerns uh, the implementation of uh, java singleton pattern was always been uh, uh, always been a controversial topic among developers right so here uh, we will uh, see different approaches to create a singleton right so here you can see on my screen uh, i have provided a different way to create a singleton so first we will link, look uh, eager initialization how we can create a singleton using eager initialization right then we'll see a static block initialization so we can create singleton either using uh, eager initialization or lazy initialization or a static block initialization so when we talk about the eager initialization then uh, basically we create a singleton which basically gets uh, uh, gets uh, gets created before even uh, even the client uh, basically before using the client uh, that gets created right so that's that's the one of the uh, basically a uh, drawback and second drawback is that uh, when you uh, create a single tree using eager uh, initialization then you do not have provision to uh, handle the exception right second we have a static block initialization there you can create a singleton within the static block itself but in both cases eager as well as a static block initialization singleton uh, objects gets created uh, even before using the uh, before, before using by the client itself right and that's what we have a lazy initialization lazy initialization until unless client do not use that singleton singleton object will not be created and there also we have a provision to handle exception like uh, in a static block initialization yeah now next we will see how we can create a thread safe singleton so uh, upper three uh, approaches right what we have seen uh, these are not basically a thread safe singleton so uh, when uh, when you are creating a class a singleton class for a multi-threaded environment then you need to uh, look into the thread safety as well as your uh, singleton will be broken right if multiple uh, thread will try to create an instance of a basically singleton there is possibility more than one object will be created or by different uh, threads right so that's what uh, we need to look into the how we can create the thread safe singleton then next we have a bill bug singleton implementation this really very interesting so uh, one one of the guy whose name was uh, bill bug who has suggested how we can create a singleton by using internal static class and that uh, that is basically thread safe so that we will see as well next uh, using a reflection how we can destroy singleton right so that we will see right uh, Next, we will see how we can uh, basically create a singleton using enum, right? As you know, enum is thread safe, right? And uh, when we create a singleton using enum, that is completely thread safe. So we'll see how we can create a singleton using enum. Then next, we will see how basically using clone, we can destroy or prevent a singleton a pattern or singleton class, right? Uh, next, we will see how a serialization can destroy a singleton and same how we can prevent right and finally we'll see example of singleton within the jdk itself so guys this was just an introductory video on singleton design pattern from next video onwards we'll look into the implementation right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i, I hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button guys uh, and rest of the things we'll see from next video onwards uh, implementation of each and every method. Thank you so much for watching this video.